You know, we're we're mountain people, and and uh, Thomas uh, pulled together us as 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 a group, and and pretty much, you know, as as the Qualitown Indians, we were we pretty much follow him to hell and back, you know, because we knew that he was that he had our backs, and and at the same time he pulled in the the mountain folk uh, around us, you know, and created this legion and. You know, uh, it kind of kept kept us together, and kind of kept us, you know, like uh, safe as 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 possible, you know, and kind of let us fight for things that you know that were important to us. And we were kind of uh, the Cherokees kind of worked as the home guard, you know, for uh, uh, for Western North Carolina. And uh, you know, what, what I think is really cool is uh, that. You know, Stan Wadey was the last one to lay down his arms in the West. And we were the last ones to lay down our arms in the East. We, uh, I remember the, one of the, some of the, one of the books that talk about the, the Cherokees when they went in to give up their arms, they came in paint. They came in like old traditional dress and Thomas at the same, you know, who was a white man and did the same. He came in, painted with them, and I, I think that was that would have been <laughs> kind of awesome thing to see. And the fact is, you know, uh, I think they they were saying that uh, that as, as Cherokees we were able to keep our guns, and uh, you know, so we could feed our families and stuff. And I think that's that's pretty cool. You know, uh, you know, you know, to say that as, as Cherokees during the Civil War we were, you know, you know. Did things like Lee and Stonewall and all those other, you know, big figures in there. You know, I, we're pretty much home guard. You know, but the fact is, you know, during that time, the star, the the South was starving. You know, the uh, things were crippled. You know, the railroads and uh, the way of life was just gone, and the, the Cherokees suffered. You know, that was that was they were the Cherokees at near the end of the war. You know. Uh, it was hard. Our people back here, the you know, here at a, on a Kona Lefty, were suffering, and you know, uh, the Cherokees, they were tired of fighting. You know, but we were still there. We still did what we were supposed to do. You know, and you know, we didn't have that many battles or you know skirmishes, but we were. We fought, and we were there. Well, uh, why did they fight for the the Confederacy? Well, that's not always true. Uh, you know, as Cherokees, you know, one thing that we got to understand about Cherokees, uh, no man nor woman can tell a Cherokee really what to do. You know, you're just looking for trouble if you try to tell them what to do. What you have to do is persuade them, you know, with your words. And as Cherokees, we valued uh, oratory skills to be able to talk and to, to speak. And, and that's how people rose to power. That's how they became chiefs. And they could never order anybody. But the fact is, you know, some Cherokees didn't believe in the cause. Some Cherokees actually went and fought on uh, the side of the North. You know, you know, it was and that happened in the South, brother against brother. You know, and that happened with us. You know, uh, uh, there are some Cherokees that actually went to the North and fought. And when they came back, you know, the, one of the stories was that they actually brought back smallpox and almost wiped us out. And uh, and there was a lot of uh, anger, a little, a lot of disharmony about the fact that the the ones that fought up in the north came back, and uh, resentment. And uh, you know, to fight for the south, the fact is, this is where we lived. You know, this is uh, this is uh, the land that we uh, have lived in for thousands and thousands of years. And the fact is, you know. It would be crazy not to fight for the South, and you know the fact that <clears throat> Cherokees have been around that we still are still here today is that we have been able to adapt to our environment and change, and because we did adapt and we become Southerners, you know we are Southern Indians. You know, uh, I know a lot of Indians are or Cherokees are are proud to be from the South. You know, we've kind of adopted the same. 
attributes of the good old boys and even the rednecks. <laughs> you know, we like to hunt and do all these things today, but you know, uh, the fact is we are Southerners. This is where we live. You know, and you know that mountain lifestyle and Cherokee lifestyle kind of blend together, and it's kind of what we have today. Well, some of the you know most prominent Cherokees uh, in the Legion, I guess you know uh, uh, Jarrett Nimrod Smith. You know, it's uh, he he was known as uh, as uh, he, he rose to power as a chief, and uh, mm, I, I always say that you know my my great grandfather was in there. You know that he fought. You know I don't know how how important he was or whatever but you know the fact he was there I'm, I'm it's kind of I'm proud to, to say that uh, um, they say Swimmer was part of the the Legion that he was that he fought and so you know, we have I, I haven't really gone through the roles to really see you know who, who was, was in prominence here because most of the time when they talk about Cherokees they generally they defer to the the non-native, you know. That they they wrote Thomas, you know, who was important, you know. Uh, uh, let me see, James James Taylor, not me, James Taylor, and not even related to me. He was a prominent figure. Uh, uh, James Terrell, I think that's his name. He was prominent in there. But the fact is, I think a lot of Cherokees were, you know. It was. It's, it's like we were just kind of like pawns in this big game, you know. We, uh, you know, uh, we were citizens of North Carolina, and and I guess they were willing to make us citizens of the Confederate states if we fought, but not really, you know. I, I just think uh, we were just kind of caught in caught in the tempest. We just were in the storm. And so we, we, we did what we had to.